now live. Bye. Amazing stuff. Bye. Right. Hopefully it's live somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we always say because you never know. It's like I can't see it, but I'm sure exactly. it's live. Uh, so we'll just pretend like it is if it's not. But uh, yeah, thank you for uh, wait a second. Thank you for uh, joining us here. You're so welcome. Or um, are you talking to them? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on, let me just make sure. Hold on a second. Get a double check. Right, hold on a second here. Sorry, it looks like it canceled. Hold on. I know this is going to be a little bit of a challenge, but. All right. Maybe we're live still. All right, I think we're still live. All right, well, let's pretend like we're live. If not, we can always just post it later. Yeah. Um, awesome. Well, again, sorry. Thanks for thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, you guys have always been super super gracious uh, with our Clown Appreciation Society. So um, we appreciate it. Um, and so going to start off with the um, most pressing question on the fan on the uh, minds of all the fans mm -hmm. when will terrifier to be released <laughs> well terrifier 2 to my knowledge is going to be released when the timing is right yeah <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. Um, the timing is right. Timing is right. The universe has its has its meaning oh. for the release. Okay, I like um, that. Damien's working so hard, um, and I know he's so close, so to getting it. Yeah. So it will be soon. Very good. Very good. Yeah. I like that. All right. Um, let's see. What have you been doing during the pandemic, or well, hopefully now the waning pandemic? What have I been doing? Um, I <laughs> have been uh, binge watching TV shows. Um, I've been uh, I. I work, well, I do some work from home. I um, actually host some live streams like on, on different apps. Um, I, uh, so, so that's been something that has kind of gotten me through the pandemic. Um, I, it's kind of like a side gig. Like I host live streams. I do like, like, you know, we talk about movies. We do like trivia nights, um, yeah. other like fun things like that. Um, and then I've, I also volunteer virtually with um, an organization called Film Fatals, which is um, founded by director Leah Meyerhoff. And um, it's, the mission is all about um, film, like gender parity in the film industry. So I, I volunteer with them and we do, I do, I'm on their events team. So we do virtual events. Um, on Fridays, uh, right now, I think we're doing them once a month, but we were doing them every week for a while, mm -hmm. virtually. Um, just really cool different uh, film-related events um, with different speakers and panelists. Um, so that's something that has been keeping me busy and auditioning and doing things like that, auditioning when they come uh, out. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm seeing some of the comments. Lauren uh, says that, you're the you're their femme fatale. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren's my femme fatale. <laughs> um, so that's great. Uh, so you know, this is this is actually a question from me because I was I was uh, reading up at. So tell tell us or me or us 
about the movie What We Found because that I'm always looking for. Yeah, what we what we found was um, a really fun film. Um, I we filmed it. This is again another film that took a while to be released because um, we filmed it actually in 2017 and 2018, and then it was released in 2020. Uh, during the pandemic, but um, it's a it's a thriller about um, a young high school senior who goes missing, and I play I played the best friend of of the girl who goes missing. Um, so another film where I played a seventeen year old in my twenties, um, <laughs> um, and it was cool. It was a great experience. I got to I played um, Elizabeth Mitchell's daughter. Um, oh wow. And she was the the uh, chief of police in the film. So um, and so that was the whole thing of her being in charge of the case of the missing girl and her, her knowing the missing girl personally. So that was yeah. Um, so that just made the whole connection of the story um, even more intimate um, and oh, cool. more intense, I guess. But yeah, yeah. So it was really it was a fun experience, and that was released during the pandemic. So it was released virtually. Oh wow. Um, and so it was, it was interesting to, you know, be looking forward to that film and then having it be released sure. virtually. It was still very rewarding um, because it was, you know, people were still able to, obviously, more people were probably able to see it than if it were had oh my God, yeah. released in theaters, I guess. But oh like, we didn't yeah, yeah. have an in-person screening with everyone. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but it was fun, yeah. Did it make its, um, has it made its way through like the horror cons or anything like that yet, or, or film festivals? I'm sure film festivals, right? Um, he, the director, his name's Ben Hicker now, he actually um, he actually just released it, um, on, it's like on demand and on different streaming platforms like Amazon and like Google Play and things like that. So, and he did do some virtual theater screenings um, during the pandemic to get uh -huh. like a lim very limited the theatrical release. Um, mm -hmm. and because of that, he didn't do festivals. So he kind of went yeah. around the festival route and just released it that way. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I'm sure, you know, the times are, you know, probably very strange trying to navigate what to do, right? Like, to, to you know, obviously the different approaches for a different time, but uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. At least to get some publicity and get it out there. Yeah, it was fun. Um, as, yeah. It, is there any other projects that you're working on or excited about? Um, I am, well, right now I'm actually working on a short that I wrote and mm -hmm. am going to direct. So um, that is, yeah, that's a project for this year that I'm working on. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. It's a, it'll, it'll be a fun, a fun little, little short, short project and to get, you know, on the other side of things and directing, um, will, yeah. be, will be really fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah that sounds awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. All right. I guess I'm going to talk about this other movie. Um, <laughs> so how did you get, so how did you, how did you get involved in Tire Fryer 2? Um, I auditioned. Um, oh, okay. I, so I submitted on, a website called Actors Access, um, mm -hmm. and I I auditioned actually for both um, CNN and Ali, and then um, Damien brought me in to do a chemistry read with Lauren um, mm -hmm. as Ali, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. obviously not as Sienna, but um, mm -hmm. and just to see like how we played as you know because they're best friends in the film along with Kaylee Hyman who plays Brooke, um, mm -hmm. and. So I got to do a chemistry read with Lauren, and then there was like a third audition of a self tape where um, Damien was like, "Okay, I just want you to do this last thing, and I'm going to preface this by saying that the scene I read was not actually one of Allie's scenes, but um, it was a, like a very like intense like screaming scene, <laughs> and so I." Um, he had me self tape it and I was in my apartment taping the scene and um, like screaming and just, 
you know, being very loud. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been nice. <laughs> and then my neighbor comes upstairs and, she, and say. my neighbor was just knocks on the door. I hear this knock on the door and they were like, uh, you, you good? You okay? And I was like, oh yeah, everything's, <laughs> everything's fine. And they were like, I just wasn't sure if you were like being murdered or just having really weird sex or what. <laughs> And wow, I mean, like they didn't call the police, right? <laughs> yeah. Holy, holy. So I didn't, yeah. I didn't even tape it twice. I was like, I, I'm not going to do this again. I'm just going to send this to Damien. <laughs> yeah, that's funny because you know, I, it's funny until you mentioned. It, I didn't even think of that, like, because a lot of people, like, we actually we did review like a casting. Uh, we reviewed a bunch of auditions in the, recently in the past month, and a lot of people are doing it from their home, and they're doing these wild things, and I'm thinking like. Yeah, they didn't used to do that, right? You'd go down to you'd go down to the you know to, to the to their agent or to the casting agency, and you would do all that stuff there, and then they would exactly. facilitate it, right? But a lot of people yeah. are doing stuff that I never even thought of that for horror. What it is, be <laughs> like if you're auditioning, like screaming your lungs out, or like yeah, you know, ca carrying on, you know, yeah, um, yeah, funny. what the impact might be on the uh, yeah residents, yeah. yeah, that's funny, huh? Yeah, that's so that's wild. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I think that they do, you know, I, I think the casting is definitely one of the things that I think has been great about um, those guys, the, their ability to, you know, just get the right people in the right roles. I mean, it's pretty amazing because, mm -hmm. you know, you can yeah. see the chemistry off the screen with everybody, even from the um, from Tower Fire, mm -hmm. and you can see it, you know. We haven't even seen Terrified Two yet, but you can tell there's this camaraderie and chemistry anyway. And even in the trailer, you can tell like they everybody feels so natural. So I think they do a good job casting. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, sure. like, yeah, everyone is so perfectly cast in this movie, um, and everyone is just so phenomenal. It's it was yeah, it was so fun to work with everyone. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, great. Um. So I guess tell us about some of the challenges uh, of shooting. You know, some of the challenges. Uh, <laughs> I mean, good challenges. They don't have to yeah. be bad challenges. You know, no, just like uh, no bad challenges. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Every uh, challenge is a good. <laughs> yeah, a good challenge. We're supposed to say opportunities. Tell us about the opportunities in shooting this. <laughs> yeah, um, I think. I mean, horror itself is a very um, phys physically demanding genre because sure. whether you're, like running or chasing someone, like or like fight, like trying to like fight someone off or like whatever it mm -hmm. is. Um, the, like no matter what, you're probably going to be doing some type of physical acting. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that like um, that 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 can be definitely a challenge like especially with like sure. heightened emotions and and things like that um yep. and i mean of course like you know there are a lot of especially in horror there are a lot of like effects going into it throughout the whole production oh right so that you know that took time and you know we had to give some time and space to to all of that so that also mm -hmm. um caused you know caused us to Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, have to space out some shootings and so, some films. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why yeah. it sounds weird when we say shooting a movie and I don't know. No, I know. I have shooting yeah. sounds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we have time. to space out the filming of it. But um, uh, so physical acting can be, you know, it can be a fun challenge, though. Definitely. Yeah. Like, yeah. See what you can do. Um, and then I would say COVID was <laughs> the biggest challenge of actually finishing the film. Oh, yeah, that's probably the biggest challenge that you probably might ever face um, yes. in your lifetime. So that's, you know, but hey, so. now that you've gone through that, right? If it doesn't kill you, it only makes you stronger. So there that's, you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. So tell, tell, so, you know, the kind of uh, uh, opposite of that question, what was a, what kind of funny or fond memories do you have from, or do you have any good stories from, uh, you know, being on set with those, well, I guess I could say those clowns. <laughs> <They're all> clowns. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty appropriate. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I mean, there were, I feel like everyone was, was pranking each other at some point. Um, yeah. I'm trying to, I feel, right. like the, I feel like one of the, uh, 
one of the more one of the funnier pranks actually happened with some of the um, younger actors that we had on set. I remember Phil just kind of messing with them and like telling them to say things to surprise. Um, well, one of the scenes they were like to surprise Felissa and like to like throw her off <laughs> in like in uh, well while she was filming. Um, I remember that. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Um, Seems about right. And, His personality. Yeah, and I just like everyone was just like. I think to work in horror, you also have to have a very good sense of humor. <laughs> um, because ah, everyone was absolutely. able to just joke around and make make each other feel, you know, at ease and very like mm -hmm. safe and comfortable throughout the whole process of filming. And um, I think that like you have to have a sense of humor when it comes to dealing with these very intense, um, very intense scenarios that you're that you're working. Yeah. With. Yeah, you totally do. Right. To counteract it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that reminds me like, I, you know, and this is one thing I've always told people is like, you know, some people that if you're not into horror, they just think like, oh, these people are all whatever. Right? right. But if you go to these conventions and you meet these fans and you meet people in it, they are the sweetest, kindest, yeah. most generous community of people. I think that I've personally ever encountered in, you know, film or, 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 or production related. Mm -hmm. They really are. It's yeah. It's really amazing. It's really that. amazing. Yeah. Some of the best people you will ever meet. I mean, they're so sweet. Everybody's so nice. Yeah. 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 They're super cool. Yeah. Um, so how many of your friends or family were familiar with terrifier before you got into terrifier two or, or during? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Well, I remember when I was auditioning, um, one of my friends that I was living with at the time, um, I, so I like mentioned it to him because one of the actresses from the first movie had a film credit with the same title of a film he had done, but it turned out, it, so I was like, oh, do you know this actress? Um, she worked on the first, I'm auditioning for the sequel to this film, and turns out that they were two separate films but he had happened to see terrifier and he's like oh oh wait i watched that on uh I, I he's like my sister and i watched it on netflix he's like that's that's awesome he's like it was really good it was like it was like intense and it was it was like wild but it was like he's like no it was so it was so good and he was like really excited that i was auditioning for the sequel which was uh nice i don't know it was just like nice to have that um support but since i have met people yeah. I have met people who um, <laughs> or realized that people were fans of Terrifier. Um, yeah. So uh, that was, it was really fun to like find out, like yeah. I mentioned it and wasn't sure if someone would like what they would say and having people right, be like, right. Oh my God. Yes. Of course. I yeah, see that. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was always fun. Yeah. 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 That's great. Yeah, and I, I mean, obviously, I, I think I'm sure they're all going to be, uh, you know, waiting with bated breath like the rest of us for to see uh, Tarifara 2 for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, the most anticipated yeah. film of 2022. And I don't care what anybody else does. It is. It is. Facts. The most. Facts. The it's, I mean, it's just facts. <laughs> you can't ignore those. That's all it is. Um, all right. Yeah. So we have some questions here from the uh, proud at cast members here. Uh, the first member question is from Damien Leone, Leon, Damien Leone, Leone. Uh, so he says, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so he says, uh, Casey, why are you not allowed to discuss why uh, Damien refers to you as the MVP of Tire Fire 2? Um, well, because Damien says so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I like it. Yeah. Also, like, I mean, let's just talk about the fact that like everyone who worked on this film is a freaking MVP for all the work. Yeah. Hard work that everyone. They're all great. Did. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be good. I'm so excited. Yeah. Special shout out to Scott. <clears throat> oh my God! Yes, Scott. Yes. Scott. He deserves. He deserves okay. all the shout outs. <laughs> I got your back, Scott. I got your back. <laughs> Don't forget me. Don't forget me. Uh, okay. Bronson Clark asks, 
Uh, what was it like to be immersed in Damien's Terrifier universe firsthand? Ooh, um, it was fun. It was, um, it was, I, yeah, I don't know. It was just like, it was, it was just a fun, fun ride to be um, going through all the, all the layers that a horror, that you go through in a horror film. Um, yeah. So it was. It, yeah, it was, I don't know, it was just a lot of fun. Like, that's yeah. really, <laughs> it was fun. And, like, there were days that were, you know, like, more challenging. Because, like, as an actor, I had never done, um, like, done a slasher movie before. So that's partly why I was very excited to do it, is because you always want to be challenging yourself as an actor and as an artist, um, trying new things, new genres of, of yeah. so um it was just really fun to experience how a slasher film is made and um, and just being there through throughout that that process. So it was has good. that um, has that created or set the bar for you for horror films? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you're like now you're like a horror film elitist. You're like yeah, exactly. Too, so yeah, you get it, everybody. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Cadestra asks, what's your favorite part of Terrifier 2, probably without spoilers, but that you were in? <laughs> There's the challenge. Well, you know who might be watching you, this. Let me tell you this one scene in great detail. <laughs> and Damien, you may listen. Um, my favorite part, um, I... <laughs> I, I know you're trying to balance. I, mean, it away. I know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, all of it was fun, but I really had a great time. My first day on set was with Lauren and Kaylee, and um, we were just—it was so fun to just work with with both of them and really kind of set up um, our friendship behind the scenes, but also on camera. Um, yeah. And so I think. Yeah, I think like for me, like that first few days, that first few days of filming for me, um, working, um, yeah, just just working with 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 those two uh, other lovely ladies. Um, <laughs> Very nice. It was really it was really fun um, to just yeah. like be able to set up that friendship. Yeah, that's cool. Really yeah. Fun. Yeah. That, I think that that was probably a planted question by Damien because I wanted to. See, I think he wanted to see if you're going to give it away or not. <laughs> give anything away. Um, so John Ruff, uh, uh, always a, always a good uh, AdCast member, always contributes great questions. So he says to Parter, sometimes he's a little short here because sometimes he has five part questions, but I guess he's going two part with this. So, yeah. what is your favorite band and what is your go to comfort food? Good questions. Um, my favorite band um, is, I love this uh, band called Angus and Julia Stone. They're a folksy, a folksy group, um, brother-sister duo from Australia. They're, they're great. Um, and I really love The National, like, so much. Um, I think they're super fantastic and so talented as musicians and artists. Um, and my favorite comfort food to be perfectly honest with you, is popcorn. <laughs> I like love popcorn. <laughs> I I'm I'm slightly obsessed. Just yeah. normal buttered salted popcorn. You don't need to get too crazy with it. Like caramel corn, yeah. like eh, like that's fine. Yeah, too popcorn, much. Popcorn, yeah. Sweet butter and salt. Yep. Fluffs. Yeah. Yep. Good. Good stuff. Yeah, it's a it's a big go to. I don't I don't know what it is yeah. about it, but it is a big go to. <laughs> I mean, and then you're in the movie business too, so there could exactly. be some sort of uh, you know, it makes you feel a lot at home, right? Weirdly fitting. Yeah. yeah. So Steve Jennings. Uh Steve Jennings is the reason we're all even here. And uh he's the he's the uh, original founder of AtCast and he's in England. So he asks and he wanted to be here too, but he has to go to our fortieth birthday party. And I joked that it wasn't his fortieth birthday. Party. <laughs> um, how many times have you seen Terrifier? And what was your 
And mm. what was your favorite part? Um, I don't know how many times I've seen Terrifier, um, multiple times. Um, I've also showed it to people, so <laughs> that's the part. I was say, you probably screened it, yeah, with people and who like, were like, what's Terrifier? I love watching people's reactions to it, especially yeah, like yeah. the Hexaw scene, <laughs> it's just like all of it. And I'm all yeah. like, like, they'll be like, oh my God, this is like, you're doing this, like in another <laughs> movie. And right, I, they imagine you being Hacksaw. they're I'm like, oh. my, yeah. yeah, I'm like, well, we're not gonna yeah. repeat that, but uh, yeah. I don't know. Nothing might happen to me also. I'm literally, like, I'm really, <laughs> people keep asking and I'm like, I have no idea, like literally nothing might happen to my character. So yeah, you just yeah. Have to watch. Um, yeah, but my favorite part was honestly um, uh, uh, the the cat. Wait, the cat lady. Um, no, the not the cat lady. She has a doll. <laughs> Sorry. Puya. Yep. Puya's character was my favorite. Was one Puya's of Puya's character is fantastic. Yeah, Puya's yep. character is one of my. <laughs> God, Mia's character was yeah. one of my favorite parts of that entire movie. I just thought that her uh, character work was yeah. so phenomenal and so consistent. Um, all the actors, really was good. all the actors are very good from that movie. Yeah. But like her, but that is like character work that is you have to be so specific with and consistent with. Mm -hmm. I was just so impressed. I yeah, she's amazing. She's such a good actor. She's super fabulous. We had her on here. I don't know if you got to check out her interview, but we had her on here. Yeah, she so she was so much fun. She was yeah. so much fun. Nice. Uh, she's so fabulous. Like, okay, you know, yeah, she's great. Um, yeah. Jackie Barber asks, "Am I your favorite fan?" Asking for a friend. <laughs> um. So that friend that you're asking for is absolutely my my favorite fan. Uh, excellent. Good. Yeah. Good. We wanted to clear that because I know that that's yeah. Know, to get that out, we want to get that out in the open. Of course. Uh, uh, Cricket Weasel, also a moderator here, asks: uh, After seeing Terrifier, was it easier or harder to accept a role in Terrifier Two? Um, honestly, it was easier um, because I really, I, I really enjoyed the whole ride of the film and um the the effects the quality um it was just it was so fun and because sometimes um because that's also something you look for um as an actor when you're auditioning for something um like i i research <laughs> i research um the directors and the producers that i'm auditioning for and i just like to see if they're like aesthetic of of their work kind of feels like something that i could also like fit into um sure. and so i felt that was terrifier so it it made me yeah. more excited to oh to cool work on it yeah yeah mm -hmm. excellent yeah um logan flores asks what was it like seeing david in costume as art the clown maybe for the first time in person uh first time <laughs> we saw him so the funny thing about that is that I actually, the first time I met David in person, I met him, I was there for the full process of uh, his makeup application. Um, yeah. Him getting into, into wardrobe. So, yeah. I, um, yeah. so I think that like when I first, and I was nervous about that, about like, well, not nervous about it, but I was just wondering, I was like, am I going to meet David before? Is this going to be like yeah. sort of a methody thing where like I'm not going to see him until we're on set together and um, you know whatever? But um, but seeing him, uh, I was filming something and he was filming something, and um, I just seeing that whole process just made it um, really more um, less intimidating. <laughs> but also once he's yeah. but also once he's in costume. It's still freaky because, like, even because uh, obviously he's completely transformed, so mm -hmm. it's definitely a little freaky. But all then all of a sudden, like, he'll just like come up to you and just like he'll have like Q-tips up his nose <laughs> to to keep from 
having to blow his because he can't blow his nose if something happens. Yeah, I I, I remember the Q-tips. <laughs> I remember the Q-tips. I know. I and know. he'll just like say something. He'll be like, "Oh, how's it going? How you doing?" Yeah. And you're just like, oh, <laughs> "You're you're David." Okay. He just and then standing there with the bottle of water, just sipping the water is actually really yeah. funny too. Yeah. It's like something you just not, you know, you're kind of, here he is in this get up with these feet and this, you know, yeah. blood everywhere, right? And he's just, he has Q tips in his nose. And I think I actually have a good picture of him and I. He's got the Q tips. It's just hilarious because it's just so casual, you know what I mean? Like, that was really funny. Yeah. It was like, um, a spoiler. Sorry, Phil. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, so I think, uh, you know, I think we were talking, obviously, just the last question, but um, so I, we were talking real quick beforehand, and you mentioned, and I, I was like, so I happened to be on set for your scene mm -hmm. that day, mm -hmm. and I think we were in the room, actually, when he was getting that makeup, and, and he was laying down, and <laughs> that's pretty yeah. weird, too. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so I was there for your for your take, and I remember I was like, "Man, she is a champ!" Because I don't know, we started at like what three thirty in the afternoon, ish. Probably, yeah, I think so. But not filmed until seven thirty eight, right? I mean, by the time everything was uh, right, and then I so if I remember that correctly, and I was, I was like, I had to get clarification. This you had somewhere to be, and we won't say where the locations were. But you had somewhere to be that was not where we were. And yeah. you had to catch a train, I believe, or something like that. That's yeah. the only spoiler we'll get. Did you ever make that train? I did. You did? I did. <laughs> and so what time? So we started at 3.30 3 p.m. on one day. What time was that train? The next day, roughly. Uh, 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. Maybe like, ish. Maybe like 8 or 9. Because I think. 9 a.m. I think I. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I really don't remember. I think it was. I think. Because I think I, I laid down for like an hour and then got on the train. Okay, so if everybody could do the math, and I suck at math, so if anybody could add that up, that's about 18 straight hours. <laughs> yeah. That's about 18 straight hours yeah. of work with an hour break. Okay, 17 <laughs> hours. Maybe maybe a half an hour here, a half an hour there. Okay, 16 hours of straight work. Yeah. I, and I tapped out like... Okay. <laughs> I tapped out like at like the six hour mark or something like that. So yeah, clearly <laughs> to the quest to my to my last question, how unessential was I to the production? I was pretty unessential. Um, you know, you're, oh, you were essential. Thanks, I appreciate that. You were essential yeah. to yes to everything. Right, exactly to that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, um, thanks so much for joining. Of course. Um, and um, we hopefully this is in the group. If not, I'll edit it and throw it into the group and I'll edit yeah. it and give you a copy to cut out that probably five minutes in the beginning where I was trying to figure out if this thing still works or not. <laughs> uh, regardless, thank you for your time. And we all look forward to Terrifier 2. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. This has been yeah. so fun. And it's My nice pleasure. to kind of start meeting everyone uh, this way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we see you in there and now they get to really see you. So it's all good. Yeah. Thanks again. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your yeah. night. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.